Today, our buddy Kenny dropped off his F-250, which he just got back from Johnson's Valley. And as you can see, it's completely thrashed, completely covered in dirt, mud, and debris. So we're gonna show you guys the proper way to wash your truck without installing new swirls or scratches. Now today, I'm introducing our brand new soap, Tough Mudder. And what that's designed for is to add extra lubrication and an extra slick feel to any truck that's been covered in mud, debris, any kind of things that can scratch the paint. Because a lot of you guys drive off-road and ATVs, trucks like this, or maybe in a camper that gets covered in mud and debris that can scratch if you're not careful when you're washing. So Javier and I are gonna show you how to do this. We're gonna start off with the dirtiest area being the wheels, obviously. Then we're gonna move on to this black paint. All right, so we're gonna tack this dirty wheel right here and rims with our Sticky Citrus wheel cleaner. We're gonna be using our Easy Reach wheel brush and our blue stiffy brush for the outside of that tire and get that uh, you know debris, the dirt, um, all that stuff off. So we're gonna be using uh, our pressure washer, but we're not gonna have it on actually because we don't wanna induce any more scratches and, and, and then need be. So we're gonna lightly pour it on and then get started. Thank you, Nick. So we're gonna get started, just a couple sprays everywhere. Start off with the tire first and then go in with the rim. And you wanna let the chemicals, you know, do its job a little bit. So you wanna wait a little bit. It's already uh, turning brown as you could see, so it was really dirty. Give it like a couple of sprays, probably like two or three is fine. You just wanna go in there and you know, just lightly take out the dirt. You gotta let the chemicals do its job. You're just there to support it. Get that brown gunk off, all that brake dust, all that hell this wheel and the rim went through. Just take it all off. So as you're in the midway point, you're gonna to wanna to give it a quick dump in the dirt trap. That way you get all that loose dirt, debris, that contamination off so you don't put it back on in the other half of the rim. And you wanna do the same thing, just add a couple more. And same thing, start from the other side, middle down. And get that rim looking good. Whew. All right, and then we're gonna use our blue stiffy brush, get the tire. Same thing, couple sprays. Let that chemical do the work. And give it a hard rub down. Put it back in the dirt trap. Get the other side. I'm gonna rinse it off. Again, not using uh, all the pressure. You're gonna wanna lightly do it so you don't know, add any more scratches to it. All right, so we're gonna finish the rest of the three tires and after that we're gonna go straight and wash this big, big truck and get it all cleaned up. All right. Javier and I just finished cleaning these wheels, now they look awesome. You can see all that brown runoff is actually just to the brake dust, road grime, all the kind of debris that was sitting on top of the surface and it was degrading that finish. So by doing that, they look really nice. Now we're gonna move on to the body. This is a Ford F-250, which is a large vehicle and it's black. So we wanna take our time not to scratch it because it'll show any kind of imperfection. That's why we're using our Tough Mudder, which adds extra lubrication. So for those of you guys who are going off road and getting all kinds of mud and debris on your vehicles, this is a way to go to make sure that you don't add any new scratch or swirls to your paint job. So we're gonna start by rinsing it off from top to bottom because that's where all your heavier, loose dirt and debris is. And Javier mentioned on the wheels, uh, the name of the game of detailing is to make the car look better than it was before. So by adding swirls and scratches, it's degrading the finish. So same thing with the wheels, we're gonna take our time to gently rinse it down and then we'll get into the foaming process where we'll emulsify any of that dirt and debris. And by emulsifying it, we're encapsulating it and trapping it so that it glides right off the surface without adding any new swirls or scratches. So Javier, let's get started by rinsing it down then we can move on to the foaming process.
So now that we've finished foaming it up, we're gonna start scrubbing it using our wash mitts. Javier is gonna take the flat surfaces and I'll take the side panels. And using our tough mudder, we're gonna gently remove any kind of that dirt and debris that's sitting on top of the car. Just gently wiping it down because even after rinsing it and foaming it, there's still mud that's stuck in the pores of the paint, which in some cases requires clay or polishing to remove. But in this case, we're just gonna gently remove it using the tough mudder. So as you guys saw, this car was really dirty. That's where we're gonna to go to our second bucket to frequently rinse off our wash mitt. As we run it against that dirt trap, it's gonna force anything that's on the noodles of the wash mitt underneath those cones, and that prevents it from coming back on the vehicle. And again, that's gonna prevent any kind of scratches or swirls. So now we'll go back to our fresh water and our soap, go back to the vehicle and work in straight lines. We're gonna prevent adding any kind of swirls into the paint. And as I always say, whenever you install a swirl or a scratch, a swirl is a lot easier to notice than a straight line scratch. So by going in straight lines, we're preventing uh, installing any new kind of paint imperfections. So as you guys can see, we finally rinsed off the vehicle and it's taking care of all that loose dirt and debris. Now the last step, we're gonna go and dry it using our woolen mammoth towel and some afterwash because this is a large vehicle and we don't wanna create any water spots. So by using afterwash, you spray it directly on the surface and you can see it's helping the water bead off. That's because it's breaking the surface tension between the paint and the water and that's gonna prevent it from drying. So if you guys wanna learn more about these products, go to our website, chemicalguys.com. If you like this truck or this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and we'll see you guys next time right here in the Detail Garage.